A couple times that, during that I remember um, I grew up about uh, one kilometer from here. Uh, I was living with my parents and uh, we were always coming to the game uh, watching uh, Claude Giroux or uh, Shabbat, Paul Byron, all, the, all the, the good players. And I remember being here in the crowd and cheering for them. And um, after that, I had the chance to, to go on the ice here, skate with them. So it was kind of a little, uh, little dream come true for me and uh, just a motivation for me to keep, keep pushing, keep working to have the, the chance to come play with the, for the Olympics one day. Just skating here um, on the ice, I had the chance to um, skate on a big rig where, where the stands were. Uh, it was a big rig, it was uh, impressive for me to skate here and um, I would say that, that's, a, that's a memory for me when I was younger. Playing for the Olympic, I mean, was that as far as the dream might go at that time? Or? Yeah, for sure. It was, uh, I'm native from here, so it was the team I was cheering for. Um, I was almost coming to, to every game. I had a pair of tickets to, to the, the trainer, so I was coming to the game and uh, just cheering for them, and uh, I was hoping one day I had my chance uh, with this team. And um, I got lucky, and uh, I got drafted by them, so it was already a, like a little dream come true. And after that, I proved myself uh, to make the team, and I did. Uh, my first year, I made the team, and uh, it was just a... Uh, I was just taking pride to, to represent the Gatton Olympics after that. Yeah, my favorite moment um, for sure was in the playoff in 2011. Uh, we had a, an awesome run. We didn't have the best team. I think we finished fifth in the fifth in the standing, and but we were all like pushing in the same way, in the same direction, and we all wanted to win. And uh, I think uh, we showed up in playoff and finished in the lost in the final in the game six. But the crowd here was just uh, something magic, magical. Um, it was just fun to be on the ice and we were all exciting every game that the crowd was pushing and cheering for us and it was a fun moment for me. What's it like now that he's playing for the Senators and you're in that building and you hear 16, 17,000 people calling Pedro, Pedro? The first, uh, the, like? first time, uh, the first time that they did, I cried because uh, it's kind of, it's hard to explain, but a lot of emotions just uh, got me that famous game where he had a few goals. And uh, every time I think about it, I could cry all the time, you know.